Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the pressure switch hose in your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Using a T20 Torx bit or a quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screws securing the rear access panel. Loosen the center top screw, but don't remove it. Now slide the panel to the right to remove and set it aside. Next, unthread the rear screws securing the top panel. Slide the top panel back and lift up to remove. Detach the pressure switch from the side panel and disconnect the hose. Disconnect the opposite end of the hose from the air dome. Release the hose from the upper retaining clip. Then cut the zip tie to release the old hose from the tub retaining clip. Install the new pressure switch hose by attaching one end to the port on the air dome. Secure the hose in the upper retaining clip and attach the opposite end to the pressure switch. Reinstall the pressure switch on the side panel. Use a new zip tie to secure the hose to the tub retaining clip. Realign the top panel and slide it into position. Replace the screws in the rear. Hook the rear access panel on the top screw and slide it to the left. Tighten the screw. Rethread and tighten the remaining mounting screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in, and your washer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.